loves is A back on your screen with another one. You know, I used to think I loved organization until I started to tackle the messiest spaces in my place. Now I'm not so sure. But after this, which I wish I could say took a day, but really this has been months in the making, I can safely say that the end result is just fresh energy in this space. And what better way to bring in the spring other than spring cleaning or home organization? So in this video, I'm going to show you some budget friendly ways to reorganize your space. I'm talking decluttering, minimize, make things just look very aesthetically pleasing to the eyes, but also functional. I didn't want it to be too costly. I've been binge watching these types of videos and I'm telling you when I tabulate, the math is mathing and it's expensive. So instead of going that route today, we're gonna use some more cost efficient ways of reorganizing the easiest to clutter spaces. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, let me know by hitting the like button, comment down below and let's go. But first, let's go shopping. We need a few things. So I'm going to one of my favorite stores to pick up some bins. As per usual, everything shown will be listed down below. Yes! It's the same size. I need this bin for my skims. Not just my skims, also my pajamas. Kind of the same thing at this point. Ugh. Although my skims cost too much to wear just to bed. Oh, I'm so happy. These bins from Muji are so crucial. I suggest using the roll up method when you're storing your clothing items so they can store better. Here I had them laying flat, but I switched them up after a couple weeks of using them. Time to declutter the top. This has been a mess since I moved in. The bags up there are not a look, so we're shifting over all of the shoes. Down under, we're gonna discard or donate all these things that are taking up space so I can put the bags there instead. Before and after, let's get it. I watched so many organizational videos yesterday, lunchtime, and they all said measure before you leave. So why didn't I take out my measuring tape? It looks like it could fit, but I think this one looks so messy. I think it would look better if it was two of the same size stacked on top. If you have any open storage space and you feel like it's messing up your feng shui, I highly recommend getting bins like these. They can store flat if you're not using them and they pop up so simply. These fabric bins were perfect for all the little knickknacks that were cluttering up the cubbies here. I'm also removing all of my perfume, all of my makeup. Why do I have so much makeup when I can't even see my own face? I'm relocating them to my closet as you saw in the last cutaway. I'm a little bit of a candle fiend as you can see and I think it's better to store it like this versus what it was before. What do you think? They say the less your eyes can see the more at peace your mind will be. Here's another spot I've been neglecting since the land before time. This utility closet is the bane of my existence. I'm always constantly shifting things around. Same with the bathroom. This is the best I can do. This looks so much better than before. To my computer drawer where I store all of my stationery. Using these bins helps to separate and organize everything. It also helps me remove things that I don't use anymore. To the kitchen, another harrowing nightmare of a place. I have a couple random spices, so I'm using these bulk bond jars. They're really pretty, but I don't think I'm gonna buy more. I kinda wanna have the uniform spice aesthetic. I'm still working on that. For my teas and my snacks, my best advice is to use old jars. This is gonna save you a lot of money and repurpose them for your nuts, your treats, your snacks. And then when you're storing your boxes, store them all with the nutrition label facing out. It just looks more aesthetically pleasing. 
I'm a little bit of a tea fiend. It gets a little out of hand. So ever so often I have to go through the arsenal and refill the canister so there's not too much clutter. Since this utensil drawer is tinier than usual, we're gonna use some more of those bins similar to the ones we used in the desk to reorganize things. Another disaster of the space is under the sink. Using over the cabinet baskets and bins really help organize these type of things. Also use command hooks for your rags and washcloths. My best hack for organizing the freezer is to move things like Tetris and make it fit the best way possible so that when you pull one thing, 90 things don't come out at the same time. And that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, tap the like. And until next time, love and later.